The Vice President of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, Mrs. Comfort Eitayo, MNI FCA. The Chairman of the Body of Past Presidents of ICANN, Princess Agnes Adenike Adenio, FCA. Our revered past president and Chairman ICANN Accountability Index Steering Committee, Alhaji Ismaila Zakari, MNI FCA. The second Deputy Vice President, Dr. Innocent Okusa, FCIB FCA. Presidents of other professional bodies joining us online, representatives of IFAC, PAFA, and ABWA joining us online, representatives of other professional accountancy organizations joining us online, my dear council members who are here physically and those joining us online, the Registrar Chief Executive, Professor Ahmed Mudukumche, FCA, my dear members of the ICANN AI Steering Committee, the star of the moment, the ICANN assessors and coordinators joining us online, partners of the big four firms joining us online, the Executive Secretary, Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria joining us online, my professional colleagues all over the world joining us online, the co-founder and director budget, the Executive Director, Socioeconomic and Rights and Accountability Project, CIRAP, other civil society organizations joining us online, distinguished guests present here and joining us online, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. In 2017, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, launched the novel ICANN Accountability Index, which is the first of its kind mechanism for assessing the level of accountability and quality of public finance management practices across the three tiers of government in Nigeria. This noble initiative by our institute was born out of our commitment to serving the public interest and the trailblazing work we have been doing in promoting accountability, transparency, accuracy, and integrity in the Nigeria economy over the past 55 years. I'm therefore greatly delighted to welcome all the distinguished participants at today's public presentation of the 2019 ICANN Accountability Index Assessment Report, which covered the 2018 financial year of government. A number of you are here in person and many more of you have joined virtually. As at yesterday, we got a report that over a thousand plus had registered to join this exercise. So on behalf of the governing council and the entire management of this institute, permit me to formally acknowledge that ICANN is highly honored and privileged by your esteemed presence at this special occasion. Indeed, this impressive turnout of participants has clearly confirmed the national and international desire for improving accountability in Nigeria and putting in place a reliable system of holding public office holders accountable. Your presence is an endorsement of ICANN's efforts in being at the forefront in the promotion of accountability, equitable distribution, and effective management of our collective economic and financial resources. I wish to inform this extinct audience that the 2019 ICANN AI report was initially scheduled to be presented publicly in March 2020. This plan was disrupted by the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic and led to the, that led to the lockdown of most economies across the world. The outbreak of this pandemic with its great toll on public finances has made it even more urgent for countries to develop a more robust assessment framework for their public financial management systems. The need for an effective and efficient PFM system is also underscored by the Sustainable Development Goal number 16 that emphasizes peace, justice, and strong institutions. Achieving these three goals, global desires by the year 2020, 2030 as envisaged, 
requires a dogged commitment to accountability and transparency in governance. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, sequent to the launching of the ICANN AI in 2017, the Institute set up a star-studded steering committee consisting of members with proven integrity and first-hand knowledge of Nigeria's public sector governance. The membership of the steering committee was painstakingly selected to comprise chartered accountants who have served in the capacity as accountant generals, auditor generals, commissioners for finance, and academicians with high pay degree for seminar research in public sector governance and technology proficient members who assisted in automating the ICANN AI, in formulating the ICANN AI framework and automating its processes, thereby significantly reducing human interference and errors in generating the results of the ICANN AI index. It is also noteworthy that the physical and online data collection stages of the index was handled by assessors selected from renowned members of this institute with several years of public sector experiences. One of the central objectives of the ICANN AI is the need for governments to publicly make available relevant physical information which facilitates the assessment of their PFM practices. We are nonetheless aware that some governments in the country have not yet fully adopted global best practices in terms of transparency and making relevant financial information publicly available. Hence, the ICANN AI field assessors had to physically visit as many as 15 government ministries, departments, and agencies to obtain information. This is in addition to painstaking DEX research they carried out in their efforts towards sourcing public available documents on the various governments and other relevant agencies websites. Undoubtedly, the ICANN AI continues to receive encouraging feedback from stakeholders, both in the public and private sectors of the economy, as well as from international partners and development agencies. Specifically, the Institute in its development of this pioneering tool has enjoyed immense technical and financial assistance from the International Federation of Accountants, IFAC, and the Department for International Development, DFID, for which we remain eternally grateful. But for their financial support, we may not have gotten to where we are today. The Federation Accounts Allocation Committee, FAC, under the leadership of the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, as well as the various state governments, have keyed into this initiative by insisting that relevant officers in their ministries, departments, and agencies avail our ICANN AI assessors of all relevant physical information required in developing this index. This positive support has further deepened the quality and reliability of the ICANN AI as a trusted and methodical tool for assessing public financial management practices in the three tiers of government in Nigeria. The multi-stages quality control of the ICANN AI supervised by the steering committee members has earned the index the expected high level of trust among government functionaries and other public sector players. This trust will further increase the confidence of users of the index for decision-making processes in the private sector and among development partners. It is also delightful to note that some state governments have recognized the value of the ICANN AI report and have adopted it as one of its cardinal metrics for measuring the key performance indicators for the accountant general and other responsible government officials. Interestingly, a number of other professional accountancy organizations within the African sub-region have approached ICANN to learn about the ICANN AI and some of them have sought ICANN support towards the development of a similar index for their economies. The Institute was in Zimbabwe in 2019 to provide technical support and guide the Zimbabwe Institute of Chartered Accountants in developing a public financial management tool for their country. In developing the ICANN AI framework, the Institute studied a number of models and decided to significantly adopt the methodology 
of the public expenditure and financial accountability insured PEFA framework, taking into consideration the unique peculiarities of the Nigerian public sector environment. The framework used for the Maiden ICANN AI report consisted of five pillars, 23 indicators, and 64 dimensions, but did not include the 774 local government councils and the six area councils of the Federal Capital Territory in Nigeria. The framework was later revised by the council in 2019 and now consists of five pillars, 25 indicators, and 70 dimensions to incorporate the local governments and area councils. The dismal results of the aggregate country performance by pillar in the 2019 ICANN AI report support our mission to escalate a level of advocacy for improvement in public finance management transparency and accountability. It is imperative that all governments assessed in the report consider the improvements to decline in their ICANN AI rankings as a KPI for assessing relevant government functionaries. It is also important that non-government organizations, including civil society organizations, faith-based organizations, as well as other stakeholders, know that the report can be reliably utilized to measure the performance of our governments in terms of public accountability. The ICANN AI is beginning to attract interest and acceptance from regional and international professional accounting organizations as a model that other emerging economies can adopt through adapt to achieve public sector efficiency. ICANN is fully committed to regularly revise and update ICANN AI framework in order to respond to new and emerging issues in PFM systems. Similar to the PFA framework, we are clear about our short, medium, and long-term plans for the index. Some of these plans include expanding the framework to integrate climate issues and collaborating with academics to conduct further research on the findings on PFM practices in the country. For instance, integrating climate issues in the framework is essential as the global community continues to advocate social and economic practices that leave minimal carbon footprints on the environment. Ladies and gentlemen, after this public presentation, the 2019 ICANN Accountability Index report can be downloaded on the dedicated website of www.icann-ai that icanig.org. The maiden 2018 ICANN AI report is also available for download from this same website. We have had discussions with the World Bank and look forward to receiving endorsements for the next one, the 2020 ICANN AI report. The Institute wishes to solicit more support from the various development partners in its drive to entrench good public sector governance and accountability in Nigeria. ICANN is open to collaboration with diverse stakeholders within and outside the country to make the ICANN AI a template for addressing the challenges of poor accountability and transparency in most African countries. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to sincerely appreciate your presence, physically or remotely, at this public presentation of the 2019 ICANN AI report. Let me also virtually welcome all our foreign partners in Nigeria to Nigeria, even though they are virtually up there, a land of many opportunities. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year in advance. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed, kindly permit me to introduce to you members of the committee that worked on the ICANN Accountability Index. I would like to start with the chairman of the committee, Malam Ismaila Zakari, FCA. Mr. Chris Unyong, FCA, is not here, I'm sure he's there virtually. Mrs. Comfort Olu Eitayo, FCA, she's here. 
Oh, Kabir Rudan Dago, FCA, is here. Alaji, Prof, can you please rise for recognition? We have Mr. David Brown, FCA. We have Professor Senu Adeyemi, FCA. We have Ms. Palilat Bakari, FCA. Alaji Tunde Abdul Karim, FCA. Mr. Oladele Oladipo, FCA. We have Professor Francis Yoha, FCA, is Vacha. Mr. Lekon Adani Jo is also a member, is here virtually. Then Dr. Ben Ukaigu, the Deputy Registrar Technical Services of ICANN, as well as Mr. Mukaila Lawa, Deputy Registrar, Corporate Services. Thank you very much for your sacrifice. We'll now proceed to take the overview of the ICANN Accountability Index and highlights of the 2019 report to be taken by Alaji Ismaila Zakari, FCA. A round of applause for him, please. Thank you very much the president of ICANN, members of council here present, the chairman, body of past presidents of ICANN, distinguished members of the ICANN AI steering committee, uh, other participants who have joined us virtually, good morning. We are here to celebrate the release of the 2019 ICANN Accountability Index Report, which covers the 2018 uh, fiscal year of government in Nigeria. The ICANN AI was initiated by the Council of ICANN in 2017. It is a diagnostic tool for assessing the level of accountability and public finance management practices across the three tiers of government in Nigeria. That is the federal government, the state governments, and the local government councils, including the six area councils in the federal capital territory. So the ICANN AI measures how well or how poorly governments in Nigeria adhere to the laws and regulations including constitutional requirements on public accountability and public finance management. Uh, the AI uses a framework which was adapted from the public expenditure financial accountability model, that is PEFA model, and taking into consideration the unique peculiarities of Nigeria's public finance management system. The structure of the index was developed around uh, broad areas of public finance activities, which we refer to as pillars. At the beginning in 2017, we, uh, we drafted a framework after long hours of hard work, building and refining and applying the, uh, the first version of the index's framework we came up with a structure of five pillars, 23 indicators, and 64 dimensions. Like the president said in 2019, we revised and updated the ICANN AI framework to include the activities of the local government councils and the revised version of the framework has five pillars, 25 indicators, and 70 dimensions. Now, it is these uh, indicators and dimensions that are scored during the assessment. And the aggregate scores of the indicators under each pillar are added together, and that is the way we derive the ranking. Uh, on the screen here, you have the, the structure of the ICANN AI showing us 
the pillars, indicators, and dimensions. And uh, those pillars, indications, and dimensions are uh, the policy framework for budgeting. That is the first pillar. The second pillar is, uh, I can't see the, the screen again. Budget credibility, the management of assets and debts. Then, sorry, let me take that again. We have five pillars, which is policy-based fiscal strategy and budgeting. Budget credibility is pillar two. Management of assets and debts is pillar three. Control in budget and execu uh, budget execution, accounting and reporting is pillar four. And external audit and legislative scrutiny is pillar five. So these are the pillars that we measure and uh, we aggregate all the indicator scores and uh, we arrive at the ranking. The process that we follow to carry out the assessment is shown on the slides. The first is that uh, uh, the ICANN leadership visit all the relevant stakeholders at national level at the National Assembly, the Governors Forum, and the Federation Accounts Allocating Committee, which is made up of the Ministry of Finance, Federal Ministry of Finance, as well as the Commissioners of Finance of all states and the Accountant General of the Federation and Accountant General of the states. So the President will visit and discuss with them prior to the commencement of the annual assessment. The second stage is that uh, the ICANN AI committee, which is the steering committee, will produce a budget and present it to the Council of ICANN for approval. Then they will meet and update if, the ne if necessary. They will update the framework before the uh, assignment begins. Then, of course, we have the technology behind the ICANN Assess AI which is the is called cipher which i can develop and that technology if we check anything on the framework then we have to also update the cipher for the relevant uh, changes that have been effected on the framework then the next thing is that we hold a training for our assessors and coordinators our assessors are the people who go to the field, two of them, two members are selected, and they go to each of the states of the Federation and the federal government. And then we have six coordinators, one each for the uh, six geographical zones of the country. They coordinate the work that the assessors do. So after the training, we engage, uh, uh, we send the assessors to the field. So the ICANN will write letters to the governors of each state and also to the federal government, the Minister of Finance and the Accountant General and request them to give us the necessary information to carry out the assignment. Then the data collection uh, phase begins. So they go in every uh, state government, they visit about 15 uh, ministries, departments and agencies of government so as to obtain the information. But because one of the key factors of uh, ICANN AI, that is the objectives, is to uh, enhance the availability of information publicly. We also uh, do some desk research, going to the public websites of government and their agencies to find the relevant information that we will use to uh, rank the performance of the states in the, uh, on, on the index. So, after that, the 
assessors will key in their scores or they, they will key in their findings, the data into the cipher, which is our uh, software, which was specifically developed for the ICANN AI, because we don't take decisions about the scores. It is the cipher that scores everything that we have key in. And so we have taken away the sub subjectivity in terms of judgment by assessors and coordinators or even the stand, uh, steering committee. So we do a data review and validation in the cipher. The uh, coordinators come before the steering committee to bring evidential material because the whole thing that we are doing is evidence-based. So everything that we score in, uh, in the cipher must be supported by evidence. If we are scoring the timeliness of the presentation of the budget, we have to have the evidence that the governor or the president uh, presented the budget on a certain date. Uh, also the day that the budget was signed into law, we will see it, we will have the law, the appropriation law, and it is based on that that we uh, look at the timeliness of signing the budget. Also the date that the Auditor, Auditor General audits the account of the state. So the date that he signs the audit opinion is the date that we look at in terms of the timeliness with which the audited financial statements of government were completed. After the data review, we have a data quality control process at the steering committee level. Then after all the data quality control, we have the scoring and grading of Cypher. Then we also begin the initial review and data analytics to prepare the report that is before you today. And then we have a final review of the analytics. And then after that, we begin to uh, write the report. We write the report and then uh, we are recommending to the council going forward that we should have an independent review by an external reviewer who will uh, uh, improve the, who will give us a review which will improve the quality and reliability of the ICANN AI report going forward. Then the CERN committee will prepare a draft report and after that, that draft report will be presented to the ICANN Council. And if the ICANN Council gives the approval, then we'll go ahead and produce the final report, which is what we have before us today. And then there is hosting of the final report on the cipher. Usually the reports are hosted and they can be accessed online uh, on the ICANN website and the, on the ICANN AI website. And then the report is finally published into a document like this. And uh, uh, we present it to the public. This is what we are here to do. Uh, the next slide is talking about the country performance. And uh, on the country performance, indicates uh, based on the second report on page 66 of the report, actually, we have the country ranking by government. And uh, in that uh, pie chart that is on the screen, what we have is the, uh, the orange indicates any state or government that comes within the top 10 in terms of performance of the country ranking. And the performance for 2018 is also shown uh, under the 2019 performance. So Kabila State Government uh, this year in the second report came first and they are actually maintaining that position, the first position because they came first also in the first report of the 2018 ICANN AI. And uh, the second best performance went to any good state. Previously, in the previous year, Jigawa State came second. Now Jigawa State came third. Enugu State moved from the seventh position to the second position, which is a significant improvement in terms of performance. 
So the country ranking also shows us that uh, Edo State is at the tail end in terms of performance. And that is not uh, unassociated with the uh, level of availability of information provided to the assessors. So when the assessors go out on page 67 of the report, we have the ranking in terms of availability of information. That is all the information that is required in the uh, 70 dimensions. Under the 70 dimensions, Kaduna State provided 87% of the total information that we require. And that was uh, an improved performance from the previous year, which uh, they provided 74%. So there is an increase in 13% of information provided by Kaduna State in the first report as uh, compared to, the, to that of the second report. You will also notice that Edo State uh, gave us, uh, they, they, they made available to us only 5% of information in 2018, whereas in 2019 report, the availability of information actually even declined to only 3%. So that is uh, a major issue that we are having with regards to uh, information availability. We hope that uh, there is really an improvement in the availability of information uh, uh, by states. Uh, you will see that there is growth so we have the green arrows in 21 out of the 37 governments that we measured. So only seven, sorry, only 16, 16 states or 16 governments had a decline in the level of information availability. What this is showing is that the, there is improved responsiveness by the governments to, um, provide information to the ICANN AI assessors. And we hope that going forward, that states will continue to improve on this so that uh, we can ramp up and uh, improve accountability in the country. So as we look forward to the future, our strategy is to ensure that we keep pounding on this ICANN AI year after year and index after index until more governments begin to do what is required as a best practice. And finally, ultimately, we expect that all that we require will become standard practice by all governments in Nigeria. The process of driving this improvement can take a few years of grinding work and hyper-focus. The drip by drip over time of water on stone and the work that the amazing team of the ICANN AI are doing, that is the ICANN AI steering committee, will continue to hopefully improve accountability in the country. It will not be easy, but that is what ch the real change looks like. And this is why I think pound for pound, the ICANN AI will be one of the most impactful projects that will revolutionize or bring revolutionary improvements in accountability and public finance management in Nigeria. On the issue of uh, critical importance, I think I have talked about this is that the ICANN AI is only as good as the data that is available and provided by the government. So the data and information to assess the PFM performance and impact so far remain poor. And we expect that the state governments and the stakeholders that are here with us will all begin to advocate for an improvement in the uh, provision of information uh, by the governments that were scoring. To improve the state of public accountability in these areas, 
the ICANN AI steering committee will continue to work on improving the framework and methodology. And it will, will continue to be a laboratory of innovation in this regard. This is where we will also appreciate the feedback and support from all stakeholders, particularly the development partners, such as IFAC, the World Bank, PEFA, budget, etc. Your insights will no doubt add value and contribute to how we refine and improve our methodology and also improve the quality of the ICANN AI reports going forward. For this second edition, I wish to express our sincere appreciation to all our field assessors, our zonal coordinators, our pillars which are, who are the members of the ICANN AI steering committee for their hard work and dedication. Please kindly give them a resounding applause. <laughs> With that, I would like to congratulate the president and members of council on the approval and issuance of this 2019 ICANN assessment report. And it is now my singular pleasure to invite the president to conduct the public presentation of the second edition of the ICANN AI 2019 assessment. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll now take the goodwill messages. We'll start with the International Federation of Accountants, IFAC. Invitation to IFAC. I'm happy to be able to participate and support ICANN on this very important initiative. Uh, of course, I wish I was there in person with you all, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's really great that I can provide this for you all virtually. Uh, just a brief intro to myself uh, for the participants. My name is Joseph Bryson. I'm a Director of Quality and Development at IFAC, the International Federation of Accountants. We're honored to have um, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria as a member uh, of our organization. It's, it's been really exciting to see the evolution of ICANN's Accountability Index from its launch in 2017. And we're very humbled that IFAC could support in a small way through the DFID funded IFAC operated PAO capacity building program in 2018. The launch of the 2019 ICANN accountability uh, index report coincides well with our current mosaic forum on building resilient and sustainable economies is being held on, online this week. The forum is emphasizing the opportunities for the accountancy profession and for professional accountancy organizations, our members, such as ICANN, to support a strong public health sector and to facilitate the transformation of public financial management. Robust PFM is uh, essential for good governance and in our current context, with government spending significant amounts of emergency funding has perhaps never been more important. Moreover, strong public financial management will be vital for our global economic recovery. We cannot improve uh, what we do not measure. Economic recoveries can be stunted if government spending over the last year um, is not fully accounted for. ICANN is leading the way for, as an example, for professional accountancy organizations worldwide with its accountability index, a first national framework of its kind 
through which ICANN is fulfilling core responsibilities to serve the public interest. It is raising awareness and educating citizens on fiscal responsibility, transparency, and accountability, providing evidence-based recommendations to government, and fast-tracking the implement implementation of the international public sector accounting standards, uh, accrual-based reporting, which will allow the Nigerian government to have greater visibility of their resources and deliver better services to its citizens. IFAC again applauds ICANN's accountability index and is looking forward to perusing the 2019 report and recommendations and opportunities for further collaboration going forward. Thank you again and all my best wishes for a very successful event. Thank you very much, sir. We'll now take a little message from the World Bank. And the World Bank representative is Shubham Shahuri. A round of applause for her, please. Thank you very much. And uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Shubham Chaudhary. I'm the country director for the World Bank uh, here in Abuja. Uh, Look, it's a real uh, privilege and an honor to have been invited to uh, give these remarks. I want to really thank uh, Madam Adawi, President of ICANN, and her team for inviting us and, and to congratulate the team on a really excellent report. I mean, I think I, I'm speaking to uh, an audience of the converted when I say that this kind of work is absolutely critical shedding light and then holding government accountable uh, in terms of its performance and what it delivers to all Nigerians uh, is absolutely essential to rebuilding the trust and, and the social contract uh, between ordinary people, ordinary Nigerians all over the country and the government at all levels, uh, from the federal to the state to the local government. Uh, in Nigeria, particularly at this time in its history, when uh, the economic stresses, the social stresses are, are severe. Uh, restoring that mutual accountability, uh, that trust between the state that needs to deliver and, and the citizens is absolutely key. Um, and for us at the World Bank, you know, our mission here in Nigeria is to help Nigeria eliminate poverty and make lives better, make the lives of all Nigerians, but in particular, those in the bottom half better to offer a better future for Nigeria's children. Everything that we do working to support government programs hinges, the effectiveness of the, that support of those programs hinges on government delivering, but more importantly for government to deliver, government has to be held accountable. And then that's where this kind of accountability index, uh, this accountability index is so critical. And especially because it focuses on the kind of, it starts from the core of government, which is the management of government's finances and fiscal, how the budget is an instrument of policy and it's an instrument of development. And so unless there's clarity and transparency and accountability around how these scarce public resources are used, nothing else that government is meant to do uh, can happen very effectively. So I congratulate you again, and I thank you for taking on uh, this task. Um, you know, it is true. It, it is going to be a marathon, gradual, uh, you know, as, as um, you know, kind of drip by drip of water on stone. But I would also like to say that, look, please count on us and, and help perhaps we can accelerate that process, maybe bring a little bit more of a jackhammer to the stone of, of improving accountability. And I think the time is ripe right now in terms of all the, you know, in terms in the middle of this crisis, it's even more urgent. And then in some sense, there's a more compelling, even more compelling case to be made for increased accountability. So while we should be prepared for the marathon, let's also, uh, we are very eager to uh, collaborate and uh, work with you on the sprint. Uh, so with that, thank you again and best wishes. And I look forward to working with the, uh, Madam Adawi and the ICANN team. Uh, and, and as we've said, we will work to do whatever we can to help your efforts. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. We'll now take the message 
from the Pan-African Federation of Accountants, PAFA, to be taken by Alta Prinsloo. A round of applause for her, please. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be part of such a landmark event. Working in Africa, we have seen firsthand how the accountancy profession can cha champion change. And this is an excellent example of the accountancy profession in Nigeria championing change. Almost all of our conversations these days include a reference to the challenges po posed by the current environment. With the high volume of government intervention and government's dwindling fiscal positions, transparency and accountability is more essential than ever before. ICANN's accountability index is, 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 is essential and an important contribution to enhance public sector transparency and accountability. This tool, which already has had a positive result, has value way beyond the borders of Nigeria, as recognized by the chair of the committee. And I encourage ICANN to continue to share this initiative with other professional accountancy organizations within Africa. The index established by IFAC and SIPFA in 2018 indicated that 40% of governments globally plan to move to accrual accounting from 2018 to 2023. This type of tool will enable the accountancy profession as in Nigeria to measure the progress, as Joe said, what gets measured gets done, but also to keep their governments accountable, similar to the accountancy profession in Nigeria. I can, PAFA is proud to have you as a member. Thank you so much for this great initiative. And thank you again for the opportunity to share this with you. Have a good day. Um. We we'll now take the goodwill message from the Public Expenditure and Financial Accountability, PEFA. A round of applause for them, please. Support of International Federation of Accountants and the UK's FCDO. Globally, as you know, COVID-19 has changed everything and is causing major devastation, pushing more and more people below poverty. The World Bank's recent numbers on poverty suggest that by 2021, an additional 110 to 150 million people will have fallen into extreme poverty, living on less than $1.90 per day. This is mainly due to three Cs, COVID-19, conflict, and climate changes. And these three Cs are reversing the hard-won gains in poverty reduction ending more than two decades of continuous progress that the world has been seeing. It resulted in economic shock and knocked off more and more economies into simultaneous recession more than ever since 1870. There could not have been a better time than this at the global level as well as country level to refocus ourselves on public financial management processes, strengthen budget process efficiencies, and fine tune our account, uh, accountability mechanisms. ICANN's accountability index is a pioneering effort in this uh, direction, comparing across various levels of government, key pillars of PFM to identify strengths and weaknesses. In this connection, uh, I would like to announce that the PFAS Secretariat will be releasing the first ever global report on public financial management in January, 2021. As many of you may know, PIFA hosts the global golden standard for assessing PFM systems. And so far, the wealth of uh, PFM results from published PIFA reports were, has been maintained internally in the PFM, in the PIFA secretariat and used for research purposes. This global report that we'll be launching in January will systematically present global and regional trends in public financial management depicting strengths and weaknesses in various areas. The report will be completely online, highly interactive, and enable users to navigate through specific areas of interest, 
either from thematic perspective or from country interest. I'm sure this report will be a uh, will complement the tremendous effort of ICANN in producing this accountability index. The ICANN's accountability index, in my opinion, is also very unique in uh, um, another way. For its attempt to do a selective but yet smart adaptation of FIFA pillars in for Nigeria purposes. This enables a blend of international best practices with a distinct local touch. Uh, friends, any assessment is not an end in itself. We hope that the current version of uh, ICANN's accountability index will have a scaled up impact in terms of usage by various uh, stakeholders. We believe that beyond the scores and rankings, the focus needs to be on the impact it's going to have on building back better from the COVID-19 uh, pandemic related crisis. We hope that the report will further strengthen governance and institutions in Nigeria. The PIFA Secretariat wishes all of you, ICANN and the report a grand success and looks forward to collaborating with each of you individually. Thank you. Ashe, Nagudi, Dalu, Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> we'll now take the chartered accountants worldwide. Good day, everyone. My name is Prime Numvalo, the, the CEO of the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, a member of the Chartered Accountants Worldwide Board. On behalf of the Chartered Accountants Worldwide Board, I'd like to thank you for inviting us to participate in the public presentation of the 2019 Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria Accountability Index Report. I apologize for Michael Isa, CAW Chairman's unavailability to be with you here today due to other commitments. We are delighted that ICANN is part of CAW. CAW is a family of 15 Chartered Accountants Institutes who work together to build trust and promote the global value of the profession. We would like to applaud the ICAN for launching the novel tool in 2017 for assessing public financial management practices in the three tiers of government in Nigeria. Such initiatives go a long way in assessing performance of public sector entities, thereby supporting improvement in the public sector governance. It is important that the chartered accountancy profession is taking an a leadership role in this regard to ensure that transparency and accountability in public governance in Nigeria. Chartered accountants have the skills, expertise, and experience to assist businesses and economies recover post-pandemic and to find a way to move forward responsibly and to build a better future for the communities they serve. On behalf of everyone at CAW, we would like to thank you for continuously demonstrating the value of the chartered accountancy profession, especially in these unprecedented times, where the world needs trusted business leaders to help rebuild business and wider economy. As CAW, we are committed to support our global network of 1.8 million members and students to build a sustainable future for the profession. I thank you for all your endeavors and wish you the best of luck in this presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. We now take the goodwill message from the Association of Accountancy Bodies in West Africa, ABWA. The president of ICANN, who is also the Agua president, the Onome Joy Adewi FCA, distinguished members of the ICANN presidency and council, our revered past presidents, the ICANN AI team, professional colleagues, gentlemen of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
on behalf of the President and Council of the Association of Accountancy Bodies in West Africa, ABWA, I warmly congratulate the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria for the successful completion of the 2019 ICANN Accountability Index Report, which is being publicly presented today. This is another significant milestone in the Institute's strategic effort to promote accountability and transparency in public governance in Nigeria. This laudable initiative is particularly important for two reasons. First, Nigeria is acknowledged as one of the most resource endowed nations in the world. Sadly, its quest for accelerated development is stunted by poor resource management and lack of accountability. Benchmarked on global best practices, the ICANN AI has commendably set a standard for holding public officers to account. Indeed, it has filled a great gap in the accountability metrics of governance, as its findings will possibly impart and reinforce ongoing public financial management reforms. Second, the public sector is the biggest and chief driver of economic activities in the country. So what it does and fails to do has implications for the entire economy. Without doubt, if the public sector gets it right, the trickle-down effect will be very profound. Here lies the propriety of this ICANN AI initiative, which was first launched in 2018, to underscore ICANN's commitment to efficient resource allocation and good governance. We therefore commend ICANN, one of Africa's foremost professional accountancy organizations, for blazing this trail as part of its public interest mandate. Abwa salutes ICANN and shares in his vision of building a strong, efficient, and value-driven public sector for the greater good of the Nigerian people. Once again, congratulations. Dr. Abel Ike Asen, FCA, Executive Secretary, Abwa. Thank you very much, Abwa. We now take the good one message from Budget. Hello, everyone. My name is Olushi Onimide. I'm the Director for Budget. I'm here to talk, to, to talk about the Accountability Index uh, published by the Institute for Chartered Accountants of Niger. First, let me commend the, uh, the ICANN for this incredible work as it has the scholarship around fiscal transparency and accountability in Nigeria. I've looked at the report and I can really, really attest to the incredible approach and the methodology that has really defined the, the development of this report. I think this is really incredible. I like the element of the budget analysis, execution, um, the budget transparency. I like the timeliness uh, of the budget which is being measured. I like conversations and analysis around um, the legislative and audit oversight um, on the budget process. I think these are very, very incredible. I like also specific details around the pension reform, the payroll reform system, uh, also I wish around even the procurement system, all of that is very important to a strong uh, and accountable uh, fiscal system. As an organization and a budget, these are things that matter to us. And these are the things that we have been advocating over the years. And we also even build conversations around it through our state of state report. And I believe that this would be very, very incredible and useful for the civil society, for the media and for the government. This is also very helpful to compare states across board in terms of the fiscal transparency level. And also, the, I'm also glad that the federal government and the FCT is also being measured on this index. This is really what we need for Nigeria. Um, there's a lot of conversation around why we need more accountability. And I think this report is on the bedrock of our conversations around this. Uh, we can talk around development, we can demand um, effective uh, service delivery without embedding accounta accountability systems. And, and most of the questions and the indexes that have been measured via this report uh, would help us, we illuminate our minds, we explain in much more clear terms to us about the right questions. The civil society, media, non-state actors, and even the government, uh, we need to really ask for a, for a functional system. So I really commend the writers, the research team, and also the international support through the IFAC that has been received to deliver this report. And I say um, practitioners, analysts, researchers should make good use of this report uh, for an effective uh, conversation around the fiscal transparency and accountability in Nigeria. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, everyone. We really appreciate the good messages. We'll now take the vote of thanks and I'll invite to the podium the Vice President of the Institute, Mrs. Kompo.
much. I wish to express ICANN's immense gratitude to both physical and virtual attendees at this epoch-making event of the public presentation of the 2019 ICANN AI report. This is one of the novel initiatives of the Institute towards promoting transparency, accountability in the, in the Nigerian public sector. Especially, I wish to express a deep appreciation to the following individuals here present and those joining us online. The 56th ICANN president, Dame Onome Joy Adewi FCA, we thank you very much for anchoring this and making it possible. The chairman of body of past president of ICANN and our old revered past president, Princess Adenike Adenio FCA. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for being there for us at all times. Our revered past president and chairman, ICANN Accountability Index Steering Committee, Aliaji Ismaila Zakari, MNI FCU. Thank you very much, sir, for doing us very proud through this uh, AI project. The first Deputy Vice President of ICANN, Alaji Tijani Musaisa, BSCFCA joining us online. The second Deputy Vice President of ICANN, Dr. Innocent Okosa, FCIBFCA here present. Council members of ICANN here present, Mr. Shin Oderide and our other colleagues joining us online. Members of the ICANN AI Steering Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, please at this juncture, permit me to humbly request this hardworking and very committed ladies and gentlemen to be upstanding for another round of applause. To say a big thank you to you and for those of our other members joining online, we say a very big thank you to you. These ladies and gentlemen, because I have the privilege to be part of them, work tirelessly round the clock, even throughout the night. Uh, our chairman, I won't call him a slave driver, sometimes into the wee hours of the night and you dare not complain. There was a meeting that uh, I was opportune to attend, 4 a.m. is still looking as if it is uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I say a very big thank you to you because you are the reason why we're here today and we can raise our head as an institute. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You can have your seat. Thank you. The ICANN assessors and coordinators joining us online, all the field workers, we say a big thank you to you. Presidents of other bodies joining us online, partners of the big four joining us online, IFAC. Chartered Accountants Worldwide, PAFA, and ABWA, the country director of the World Bank in Nigeria, budget joining us online. Specifically, we thank you for the highly encouraging goodwill messages and for identifying with us on this course. Thank you very much. We also like to thank representatives of other professional accountancy bodies joining us online. Our dear Registrative Executive, Professor Ahmed Kunshe, FCA, we thank you for your doggedness and following this through to the point of success. Thank you very much. We thank our professional colleagues joining us online, other representatives of federal, states, and local governments joining us online. We thank you. Other civil society organizations joining us online. Our friends from the first estate of the realm, we say a very big thank you to you. 
and we pray that uh, God will continue to give you enablement to, to project our institute in the right image out there. Thank you for identifying with us and partnering with us at all times. All other well wishers, we say a big thank you for identifying with us on this noble initiative. Thank you all once again. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year in advance. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Ma. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this event. We want to say a very big thank you to you all for joining us, especially those joining us online. Really appreciate you. We will now take the closing prayer and the anthems. The closing prayer will be taken by Tobin. Please give us the closing prayer. Dr. Ben. We pray, Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for the love you have bestowed on your children. Thank you for the initiative of ICANN Accountability Index. The index has a purpose. Almighty God, we pray that the objective of the index will be utilized and implemented so that the world will see the shining of the index. It is not an index that should be put under the cupboard. It is an index that should be implemented for the development of our country. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the grace. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the deliberation. As we live here, O oh God, lead us to our various homes. With the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Oh, no.